yeah the first thing you have to do is to prepare all the necessary material for the for the plaquette so and these are the material in which we are we are using for this uh, illustration so i welcome you once again to Nobote fashion channel so this is the color stay and then the color stay the wideness of the color still is a 1.5 inches so that is the wideness of this one 1.5 and then the length is a 14 inches so that is the average length for a color or a plaquette so the length the wideness of this is a 4.5 while the length is a 16 inches so the same thing to the on this to the second one as well so the wideness is a 4.5 while the length is a 16 inches on this one also and then this material the next material is the one we are using for the center which is a 2 inches and the length is a 16 inches so that is it on the necessary material we are using for this uh, illustration and then you take this uh, color stay you mark the center which will give you a 0 0.7 that will be the center of a 1.5 so that is a 0 0.7 you mark a 0 0.7 and then you roll it uh, straight down please if this is the first time you are checking on this channel you are highly welcome to Nobuti fashion channel if you are yet to subscribe to this channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i have an, an, an amazing video like this again for you so you mark one inch upward here and on that one inch you place your arm or cuff or anything you can use to have a circle on this uh, place so you create a circle here and once you have a circle then you cut this into two you cut it into two like this and make sure that your hand is a the cutting is a very straight because if it's not straight one may be wider than the other and then you follow this a circle and then you trim it out like this yep so you do the same thing on this other one also you cut it on the circle like this and that is it so if you can retrim it if you feel that uh, one is not uh, well cut and that is it so the next thing to do now is to apply the necessary stay on the on this uh, material and then one thing that is very important here is the way i'm placing this uh, color stay make sure you watch the way i'm placing it you can see that one is facing uh, each other and i place it at the edge so you apply the you make you press it very well like this press it very well and then make sure that the iron is very hot so that we stick to that it will adhere to the material very well and then you do the same thing on this uh, other side this one now i'm using a hard gum stay for this one and then this is another material another color of a material which will show on the on the center and then you apply stay on it like this you can iron it on the front to make it well stay on the material and then the next thing to do is to notch this uh, angle this circle the next thing is to notch it and while notching it make sure that uh, the notching is very okay and the scissors is very sharp so that you don't have a rough at the edge of this uh, circle so you bend this on it like this and make sure that it's very firm to the material and you use cooler to cool it down so you iron it all through like this straight down so you cannot fold it on this circle make sure you take your time to do this please so that you have a very nice uh, shape on this area Make sure you take your time to do this and while you are doing the cutting make sure that the cutting is not uh, too much you can see that and make sure that the circle is well formed make sure that it's well formed so this is where the work is if you get this place right the result will be very nice and then you do the same thing on the on the other one also so that is it. So you take the second one like this. 
and then you do the same thing here so this excess is too much so you have to cut it out then you notch here look at the way i'm notching it notch here notch it like this make sure that the notching is not too much so you just fold it all through So please, if you are yet to click on the like button, let me give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube will be able to show it to a lot of people and they too will be able to benefit from it as well. So please, give this video a thumbs up and then you can drop comment for me as well. So you fold this edge like this also. Make sure that you do this very well because it can be a little bit uh, tedious. So you fold it like this and you create the cycle on it. So here it is now and this is the second one. So you take the other material like this, you place it down and then you place this one on it. Place the second one on it as well. So let's go to the machine now. So here it is now, you place this one like this on the center. You place the material on the center of this uh, other material we are using for the inside and then you stitch it straight down like this make sure that the stitches is very straight and then it fall on the edge of this uh, material so that you have a very nice and clean job so you can use your hand to roll this the wheel while you are stitching here so don't rush use your hand to roll the wheel don't pedal the machine so that you not run to the area which you don't need to stitch on and that is it so you place the second one on it like this and then make sure you, are, you set the circle very well make sure that one is no lo longer than the other and then the space in between make sure you maintain a very tiny space Make sure you maintain a very tiny space and the circle fall on the right place. So that is the main work on this area as well. Make sure that the circle form very well and then you use your hand to roll the wheel. Don't pedal the machine. Just use your hand to roll the wheel. And while you are stitching this, make sure you are raising the footer. Make sure you are raising the presser foot so you'll be able to turn it easily. After you are done with this, just stitch it straight down. Make sure that the stitches fall on the edge of the material. And then you also check the stitches, make sure that it's very neat and clean. And that is it. You can see that. So the next is to, is to cut the excess at the back here. Cut this excess. After you are done with this, the next thing is to proceed to the table. Yeah, the next thing to do now is to press it very well. We press it from the back like this, but this iron is not. Uh, it's not that. I think the face of this uh, iron is is being the uh, stained, so. I have to place another material on it but I'm still not getting the expected results so I have to change the iron here so I have to change this uh, iron if you press it very well like this and then you fold it on this edge that's the upper part of this uh, flap so whichever name you know it as some call it flap some call it collar while some also call it a uh, plaquette so whichever name you know it as. So we trim the S's on this side. And then you fold this edge like this. Make sure that it's very firm. It's very firm to the collar stay. Fold it again. So you fold this like this. Then use color to cool it down. So this edge now, you fold this piece also. 
please if you don't know how we prepare these uh, plaquettes maybe this is the first time you are coming across this way of preparing plaquettes like this this is a type of plaquettes in which we you are using as a member of this uh, family the noble family so please if you don't know how to prepare this uh, type of color i have a link on a comprehensive uh, method which i explain in detail on how to prepare a plaquette without having a squeeze by the by the side so i will leave a link to that video at the end of this uh, video or you check the description box below to see the link to that uh, video where you'll be able to learn how to prepare a plaquette without having any squeeze by the by the side so on this one now the next thing to do is to apply the hemming gum on the edge so that the edge will be very firm so you place the hemming gum on this edge on the inside and then you press it very well so this will enable you to have a, the stitches very easy without having the worry to be fighting with the material so you just have to apply the hemming gum inside so that the material will stick adhere to the color stick very well so you fold the bottom like this and that is it so now let's see the result of uh, what we have been doing so if you want to know how to fix this to the body i have another link to that uh, video at the end of this uh, video so you can see the results now you can see how nice and beautiful it is please if you are yet to click on the subscribe button make sure you click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i drop an amazing video like this again and you'll be able to enjoy over 150 videos on this uh, channel and for you to be able to be one of the noble family member till the next time that i'm bringing you another amazing video like this again i say thank you for watching and then bye for now